Welcome to our next video on our How to Tune a Piano series by Howard Piano Industries. Um, here in this video we're going to get into the, the meat and potatoes here of um, actually tuning, tuning the piano. In our previous videos we showed a little bit about electronic tuning devices, um, the tools that you need, and, and, and uh, how to manipulate the hammer. Um, so here we're going to start at the actual tuning process. Okay, Generally what you want to do um, you know, we, uh, we want to start with this mid-range section. We've already gone through and uh, set the set the uh, stretch on our electronic tuning device, so that's um, that's set for this particular piano. Um, but uh, and we know uh, that uh, you know this piano is fairly close to tune. If again, if it's five to ten cents flat or sharp or more, um, uh, that you want to do a pitch raise or lower before you go through and do the fine tuning, which is what we're going to be doing here. So um, <clears throat> we're going to do this middle section, okay? And uh, I'm going to use a temperament strip here, which uh, is a is a good thing to use. Makes it a lot, makes the job a lot easier. Um, so what I do is I take this, and you just use a, a long blade screwdriver flat head of course don't use the one with the Phillips head because won't work very good <clears throat> but uh, what I'm gonna do now when you put the temperament strip in you want to make sure that you lift the dampers okay by pushing down on the the damper pedal which on a piano that's the pedal all the way to the right um, so you push that down while you're putting the dampers in and what I do is I um, go through and input the and what I'm doing here is I'm putting it <clears throat> between each set of strings so that by the time I'm done for most of the strings I have just the center string or one string per note that's able to be sounding okay and I'm going to do this for the whole section so that I can tune this one note or one string per note um, for the whole section then we'll go back and tune the other strings and we'll show you that in our next video okay so here We've got uh, uh, every every uh, note has one only one string that's not muted. Okay, as you get down here um, with the two strings per note, uh, obviously I didn't go between here because um, if I did it on either side of the two strings, then both strings would be would be muted. So I'll do it on the right of this two string note, and then over here on the left of this, um, this two string, or they call them bichord notes. Okay, and then by the time, and if you've got an even number, like say you've got four, uh, it won't work out quite as good, but um, you just have to use a rubber mute on the last one then. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the only exception to, to what I said about only one string per note is being, is sounding, is this last one. Okay, and obviously I can't get the mute in here uh, on the treble end, so what I'll use is the rubber mute to... Um, to mute off that that rightmost string um, uh, in that in that top end of the top string of or top note of the uh, of this middle section. <coughs> okay, now once we've got that, okay, and we uh, our electronic tuning device um, or software is gonna is gonna tell us where the notes should be. I'm gonna pull that over so that we can see that, and hopefully it can be seen fairly well there. Put it in an angle that uh, you can see it. There we go, without the glare. <clears throat> okay, and um, we're going to start out here with A4, okay? Now, you can't see the spectrum in the, in the middle, but if you can see those black bars, you can see they're staying fairly still. Okay, so we've got that one where we want it to be. Then we'll go down to G sharp. You can see that's flat. Those, uh, those black bars are moving pretty fast. And we're gonna, again, we're going to come up above the pitch and then drop back down to it. Sometimes I 
just double check to see how my intervals are sounding. When you're tuning, you want to hit the note fairly hard because what that does is it settles the string. Um, tuning it, um, what you've got here is a pressure point that uh, that uh, the string runs across, and if you if you don't hit the string hard enough, it won't settle the the adjustment over the whole uh, portion of the string. So we go down to A3, which means we've tuned a whole octave. Okay, so we're going to go back down, keep going down to the bottom of this section. check my octaves once I've gone beyond an octave just to make sure it sounds good. Check the octave, especially on this, um, this these bottom few notes in this section. Uh, if you've got a few wound strings here in the in the tenor section, you can find that the um, <clears throat> the tuning that the electronic tuning device doesn't give you a perfect perfect uh, results in the octave. It might be a little sometimes it's a little bit flat of what sounds good. So um, sometimes you have to make a little bit of adjustment. Um, in those bottom few notes if they're wound, uh, depending on the piano. Um, uh, this one sounds fairly decent, <coughs> you know, in that section, but uh, some you have to bring it up a couple cents from what the, what the software tells you, and uh, you, then you can do it kind of by ear. You know, you listen and you can try to get a, a spot that sounds good in the octave and then double check it with your fourth and the fifth in the octave for what sounds good. Now we'll go back up here. started A, so then we're going to go to A sharp, A sharp 4 above middle C.
know if you hear that clicking noise in the video there. And what that is, you know, we do a video on how to diagnose clicking noises, but this one, uh, this hammerhead is a little bit loose. So as I go to here, I can, I can feel a little bit of wiggle. Um, and that means the joint between the hammer shank and the, and the hammerhead is a little bit loose, so it needs to be glued. sharp which is the last note in the middle mid range and there we've tuned the whole um, one one string per note for the whole middle section my uh, mute came out here okay so what uh, what we'll do in our next video is go through the um, how to tune a unison and go through tuning the unisons for this whole mid-range section but uh, basically that's how to tune um, and sometimes I'll check it with the fifths and it sounds fairly good a lot better than it did and it's uh, at pitch um, so if you have any questions about it uh, feel free to visit our website howardpianoindustries.com uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel